हाई एंड वेलकम एवरी वन दिस इज अर्चना हियर टूडे आई कम अप विथ सुपर सिंपल होम डेकोर प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग क्राफ्ट स्क्रैपर्स प्रोडक्ट टू मेक द प्रोजेक्ट आई टू क्रेक्टेंगल शेप वुडन प्लैंक एंड स्प्रेड थीन लेयर ऑफ टेक्चर पेस्ट यूजिंग पैलेट नाइफ थ्रू स्टेंसिल द स्टेंसिल आई एम यूजिंग हियर इज कॉल्ड द मास्क फ्रॉम क्राफ्ट स्क्रैपर्स एंड इट्स एन अमेजिंग स्टेंसिल विथ वेरी इंट्रिकेट डिजाइन एंड इट्स परफेक्ट टू मेक एलिगेंट प्रोजेक्ट to spread the texture paste you can also use hard cardboard piece or um, old uh, debit or credit cards or anything that is even and thick chalk paint dries in matte finish so as i said earlier uh, it works perfect as a primer too to apply the chalk paint i use round sponge brush and uh, as you see here i am taking colors alternatively on sponge and uh, applying it in a circular motions this is one of the best technique to blend the colors easily without leaving a hard brush strokes behind As you see here I got very nice matte finish look now it's time to add shimmer to the project and also adding another dark shade will make the uh, pattern visible which we created earlier using stencil I use shimmer spray called muddy pool and spray it randomly and to make it flowy I use little amount of water so that it will flow and leave the tint of the color behind and also make the pattern visible I took same stencil and give highlights using gesso at random places with the help of sponge brush and using same brush I also highlighted the edges of the plank and texture part little bit
नेक्स्ट आई टूक ग्लास चार एंड कवर इट यूजिंग चॉक पेन कॉल हेजी कोकुम्बर एंड लिरिकल बर्डी एंड केप्ट इट असाइड टू ड्राई Mean while I took chipboard letters and cover it using black acrylic paint and then I use a bronze embossing powder on the letters and heat set them To add more sparkle to the project and put everything together, I took bronze metallic paint from Crafty Scrapper's shimmer paint range and apply it on the plank as well as on the glass jar using dry brush technique.
I drill four holes on the plank and use metal wire to put the jar on the plank and I also use PVA glue behind the jar so that the jar will stay in place. Next I took these uh, metal corner embellishments and color it using bronze metallic paint and glue them on the plank. I also arrange the letters on the plank and glue it down using PVA glue. To give depth to the embellishments and the letters, I use black acrylic paint and to achieve the shading, I dilute the black acrylic paint with some water and apply it around the letters and the embellishments with the help of liner brush.
hope you guys have enjoyed this making process if you enjoy then do hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel If this video inspire you to create something then do share with me or tag me as I would love to check out your creations as well all my social media links are in the description box below I will be back with another project soon till then bye bye take care and happy crafting